It's the 23rd of April, 2014, 05.30 a.m. Headed for the air compressor. Start that up. Today, we're going to do an internal dock trial. Nick's opening the steam, deck steam aft valve, letting air from the compressor back into the engine room. And then the bypass valve. There it is. Ah, it's open now. Oh, that there air. All right. And now Nick is checking the Christmas tree to make sure that the auxiliary valves are open to go to starboard auxiliary he's doing right now okay that one's open main auxiliary and main feed pump and port auxiliaries they're all open next part of this process is start the force draft fan Nick is lubricating checking to make sure the drains are open he'll check to make sure the exhaust is open it is fully open Shot of air and now the process is to open the the throttle quickly a lot of air and off it goes Lining up fuel to high suction on the port settler. The intermediary valve that will get it over to the fuel pump. Now the fuel oil service pump. Oil it. Check that the drains are open. Open the exhaust valve get some air going to it. Next opening the main throttle valve all the way then back off the regulator to make sure it won't start. Okay, which I did already. Okay, that's off, backed off. Open the throttle valve to the outboard general service pump all the way. Okay, now we have to give it somewhere to go. So, over here on the manifold, there are two valves to open. Puts it into the manifold, quarter turn, and then you want to check all burners to make sure all eight valves are closed. And on the other side. Okay, Nick. Should be set to go. Drain some air through. Make sure there's no water in the system. Close the drain. And there goes the pump. Pressure's starting to come up. Yeah, just one reset go. Mike is lining up the stops on the steam drum so we can get water in when we need it. Those are the auxiliaries. Done this main already. All right, we need to close all the dampers. Okay. Then we have fire. 
Same part, the other side. Boot valve open. There we go. Fire on both sides. Seven thirty. Nick has been firing since we lit off at six ten. He's now turning the firing over to Evan Milburn. He's going to fire for a while, and he's explaining to him what he's got set up here. The noise we're hearing from up above is steam coming out of the steam drums. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of pressure on the port side. And Evan is now the fireman. Okay, next part of the operation is to get the shaft alley lined up. We're going to put the wicks in and dump the rest of the oil on the shaft and slack the stern gland. Okay, Nick is in position and we will slack the stern gland, which is letting seawater in to cool the shaft. Okay, we're putting the, the wicks in on the shaft bearings. And adding a little bit of oil. Oops, a dab will do ya. Adding a bit of oil to each bearing. This is number four. 940. We got it up to 150 pounds of steam pressure. We're in the process of switching over to steam. Started the force draft fan. And now we've got the fuel pump running on steam. Okay, we've got everything running on steam. So we're going to fire back up on steam. Bypass steam to the main engine to get the water out of the system, and the drain lines for the bypass has come down into the filled area. That's the reversing engine. I don't like the valves full lock against the backstop because you can't close them. But back them up and then just crack them on. Mechanism for reversing the engine. This is the auxiliary condensate pump. This is the auxiliary condenser. It takes steam from the auxiliary system and runs it past seawater and turns it back into condensate, sends it to the feed and filter tank. We use this as a condenser when we're not running the main engine and have to turn the steam from the auxiliary pumps and motors back into the condensate to put into the boiler. Jack is starting up the main condenser pump.
This is what the auxiliary condensate pump normally sounds like with steam from the auxiliary engines coming into it. And about the correct speed. Right now we are rocking the main engine back and forth. To work steam through the main engine and warm it up.